This model is of a Scania R top-line flatbed truck and it's fitted with a big Powerfinger 15002 loader crane. There's also a jumbo extendable trailer and it's all in the colours of Brouwer, a Dutch haulage company. The model comes in the usual factory seal WSI type of box and inside you've got a few parts, there's the extendable trailer and there's the large 10x4 Scania truck. Unfortunately we can see already that this model has got some detached parts and it looks like one of the fuel tanks has come off so this truck won't be travelling very far. There's a small bag of parts for the Palfinger and buried in the box is another part of the fuel tank. There are a couple more small bags of parts and these contain the deck posts for the truck and the trailer. Last out of the box is a small instruction manual for the Palfinger crane. There's no other instructions for the model but the book for the crane is pretty good. It's a generic brochure covering all of WSI's Palfinger models and it's easy to understand because it's got some good photos and some simple text. However, this particular model did come with some loose parts in the box, so it's time to get the super glue out and do a bit of sticking. This repair is simple enough, but on cranes etc we don't like gluing. Before you know where you are, you've stuck your hand to your ankle and you're hopping all over the place like a demented turkey. Unless you're skilled of course, in which case it's no problem at all. The Scania is very good underneath with a detailed transmission and suspension and the tyres have a good tread pattern. The wheels are nicely detailed and there are mud flaps too. A highlight of the model is the Brower livery which is very striking and the standard of detailing on the cab is very high. At the rear the lights have plastic lenses and there's a towing hitch too. The deck is mainly metal with inlaid plastic replica timbers. The Palfinger crane has got nicely detailed outriggers and pads and the crane itself looks very good with many small graphics. The boom sections are all metal with a thin and convincing profile. The underneath of the jumbo trailer continues the very high standard and the axles are modelled really well. The quality of the deck is the same as that on the truck and the drawbar at the front looks really good with its small springs. There's also a lot of nice detailing at the rear end. Out on the test track the Scania is a heavy model and it rolls reasonably well. Picking the model up the rear axle wheels turn independently with the wheels on the drive axles being fixed and turning together. This truck has complicated steering with axles 1, 2 and 5 all steering and being linked together. It is modelled accurately by WSI but the compromise is that the range of movement is quite restricted. So it is possible to set the steering but only at a very shallow angle. But that's certainly better than nothing. As you would expect the model features a tilting cab and that works very well and underneath there's an engine with different coloured components. Moving on to the jumbo trailer and that's a very smooth rolling piece of equipment. And it's very nicely engineered too by WSI. Each of the axles has got sprung suspension and that works well. And at the front the steering axle has a good range of movement. So that means you can pose the trailer any way you want and it steers very well. One very nice little touch is the tow bar with its working springs that help keep it level. There's another interesting feature on the trailer and that is that it's extendable. It opens up to give a worthwhile additional length and it's been engineered well by WSI. Joining the truck and trailer together is fairly straightforward. It's a bit fiddly to get the eye of the tow bar into the towing hitch but once the connection's made it's reasonably secure. There's another small bit of optional detail that can be added at the end of the trailer and that's small poles with additional lights that can be fitted on. The only thing you have to be careful about is not to drop small parts like these on the floor. Another example is very small container locking wedges which are supplied both for the truck and the trailer deck. These enable a container to be properly held in place because they interlock with the container but they only fit WSI containers. So just to see how it looks let's put some load on the truck and trailer and first we'll add a container onto the front and for a bit of variety we'll put a tower crane section on the trailer. Another option you have with the model is to fit the optional deck posts. These are metal and you can fit them into many different configurations on the deck. And the only issue you have is that you might have to fiddle with them to get them to stand straight. Two packs of deck posts are supplied so you've got enough to do both the truck and the trailer. So let's see how it looks with a different type of load. 
and this time we'll use big steel beams. Now you might be wondering why are these beams such a bright yellow colour? Well the explanation is quite simple, it's because they've been painted with bright yellow paint. The other main feature of this model is the heavy Palfinger loader crane. To get the crane working the first thing to do is to set up the outriggers and those mounted on the crane just pull out and then rotate downwards. And you can adjust the level a little by rotating the piston. Separate pads and spreader plates are provided and the end of the piston gets placed resting in the pad. The process is just repeated at the rear end of the truck where the outrigger beams are just pulled out and again the piston is placed inside the supplied pad. The big power finger can now be opened up and actually that was quite hard to do because the cylinders are very stiff on this model. Not only that but on this model the attachment of the crane to the truck chassis was a bit loose so the screw that holds them together had to be separately tightened up. Once the loader crane is unfolded then the rotation is fairly straightforward. One thing that is very nicely engineered is the telescoping sections. They are made of thin wall metal and they slide very nicely. If you set the whole crane up you get quite a large model so let's get the measuring tape out. And it's nearly 18 inches or 45 centimetres. The boom rams on the model are very stiff but here's a real test because that tower crane section is quite heavy and it's at the maximum extension but you can see it's slowly bleeding down. Overall this is a very nice truck and trailer combination. It's very highly detailed and a little bit delicate as a result, but the functionality is good and it looks great in the colours of Broa. As an example of a truck and trailer combination, this one is outstanding. Mm -hmm.